Today, this video is all about hiking apps from where to go, what to do, navigation, as well as offline maps, the prices, and the best features that each of these apps have to offer. I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler. If you're new to the channel, I put out laid back luxury travel videos. And if you are interested in getting the latest tips, tricks, travel guides, and inspiration, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. So let's go ahead and start with some of the things that you should be looking for when you're looking for the best hiking apps. So some of the features that you want to think about with your hiking apps are, are you looking for inspiration? Are you looking for specific hikes inside the US, outside the US? Are you looking for GPS and navigation? or perhaps you're looking for GPS coordinates, which is extremely important if you're hiking long distances. Something else to think about is if you're interested in a crowdsourcing app or an app that is free or costs up to about $40 a year. Some of the pitfalls that you want to consider are the offline availability of the app, also the cost of the app, whether it's a monthly fee, free or a yearly fee. Additionally, how much battery life is it going Going to be taking when you are using it because some of these apps take up tons of battery life so something i recommend is bringing a solar power charger for your phone so you can have your phone for the entire trip for not only gps and your trail but also for wonderful photos and videos finally how often do they update the app it's extremely important to have the most updated version as well as the most updated trails as things change all of the time so let's go ahead and get started with our first app which is a crowdsourced 100% free app. And this app is called The Hiking Project. One of the best features of this, it feels like a guidebook for trails across the United States and Canada where it has the most information. You also get this great vibe from different people providing information about the different trails that they have taken, their opinions and thoughts. It works a little bit about like all trails, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute, but this app is so unique with its large database, detailed trail descriptions, user contributions, offline functionality, as well as user-friendly interface. It has the exact location shown on the trail and you can actually check in on the trail. One of the features I love the most is the gem feature where you can actually point or put on the trail a point of interest. That is something that all the other people on the trail should check out while they're hiking. Since I mentioned all trails, let's talk about this one next. It's a great app. There's an amazing free version, but if you want downloadable maps and offline functionality, extra functionality, then you will have to do the paid version, which is about $36 a year. What I love about this app, it provides easy, medium, and hard, and it's sort of a crowdsourced vibe. So you can go to a particular area, like if you're going to go hike Mont Blanc or around Mont Blanc, you can look for the easy hikes, the hard hikes, the really hard hikes. And there are lots of reviews and information on all trails about where to go and and how to use it. One of the features that's important to look at, I would always go to alltrails.com on your computer first, read all of the information, and then use the app when you're gonna go on the hike. In addition to difficulty, this app allows you to search by elevation gain, length of hike, as well as reviews from other hikers. To me, this is the most user-friendly and best sort of average hiker, not hardcore app to use out there. I've used it in Rocky Mountain National Park. I've used it in Boulder. I've used it all over, well, typically in the US, but I love this app. It is great for the best, and I think the best reviews of any app that's available on the market. Just as a side note, since All Trails is basically used in the US and Canada, if you're traveling in South America or in Europe, then I recommend Wikiloc. It's great to discover trails. It doesn't have the best offline features and capabilities, but if you're looking for trails and information, I would use Wikiloc if you're gonna be in South America or in Europe. Now that we've found some great trails, let's talk about a couple of GPS great apps. First is the number one out there, which is Gaia GPS. This app is free, but if you want all of the offline features and capabilities, it's about $40 a year. The free features allow you to record activities, plan your routes, drop waypoints, you can view the topo maps, and you can search hiking trails. The premium features include Nat Geo Maps Illustrated, better satellite maps, 
you also have wildfire condition maps and you can do your own customizable maps. It is the gold standard when it comes to GPS for hiking apps. The Gaia GPS will also record your speed, your elevation, it'll give you sunset, sunrise as well, and it will track your entire trip with exact coordinates. So if you're looking for one app to get, just one, then the Gaia GPS is the one I would get. The rest of it, you can search some cool things online. If you're going to day hike, of course this is, I'm talking day hiking, we're gonna get to some long haul from point to point hike apps in just a moment. One of my favorite apps to have while I'm on a hike is Seek by iNaturalist. That way I can check out all of the flora and fauna as well as insects while I'm on my hike. All you have to do is take your phone, point it to that actual thing and just click it and it will tell you exactly what it is. It also provides information. So for example, if I'm hiking, hiking in Texas, it will give me all the native flora and fauna for the state of Texas, which I might be able to see while I'm on a trail. If you're looking for through hikes or long hikes and the best information out there, then my recommendation for you is the Gut Hook Guides. They have actually rebranded to be called Far Out Guides and they're no longer Gut Hook Guides. Their database has maps for over 35,000 miles of trails throughout the US and Canada. So if you're looking to do the Pacific Crest Trail or the Appalachian Trail, then this is going to be the app for you. This app was actually developed by former through hikers who understand the need for reliable offline information. This app includes trail information like distance, elevation, waypoints, water sources, and campsites all viewable on the topographic or satellite maps. This app is a little bit different as you purchase the trail in which you're going to be hiking. They range from about $5 to $60. So this app is a little bit different. It's not a yearly price, it's a per trail price. One app you're going to love if you like going to the national parks is the National Park Service app. It not only gives you trailheads and how long it takes to hike particular trails, it also gives you parking information as well as information on all 423 national parks. It's a great app to have if you're gonna be camping or you're going to be doing anything in addition to hiking and you love the national parks. Apps that are important when you're going hiking, but not necessarily hiking apps, are the weather apps. And a couple that I recommend are AccuWeather and Windy. You do not want to get caught out in the middle of your hike with horrible weather and get stuck. So yes, you can use your apps on your phone, just a regular weather app, but I do recommend getting a higher quality weather app when you're going to be hiking, especially if you're gonna be spending the night out there on the trail. If you love to day hike like I do, then go to the description below and download my free hiking day pack guide. It has everything that I use, including my favorite backpack and everything I put in my pack when I'm going to be day hiking. And I have been day hiking in Nepal. I've been to Mont Blanc. I have hiked the Camino de Santiago. I've hiked in South America as well as all throughout the United States. So it's a great packing guide and it's free. So go to the description below and download the free guide. And now for a couple of safety apps, which are extremely important when you're out there on the trail. One is Karn Safety. And this is great because you can share your GPS location with friends and family. You can also check on that app where other hikers have found cell phone service in, ca in case you get in some kind of trouble. This app also has trails and maps as well, but if you're looking for safety, this is the one to buy. It's $4.99 a month or $26.99 for the year. Again, one of the best features is sharing your location with friends and family. The Karn app will also track your progress and give you the distance to your final destination. It's a great app. Two other safety apps. One is the American Red Cross, and this can be used for hiking or at home. It gives you all of the tips and tricks for if you're in a minor emergency. The second, and we hope that you're never gonna need this, is the SAS app, and that is actually a survival guide where you can figure out what you need to do if you're in a life or death situation. They do have some fun games. You can run a game on that app as well outside of the hike where you're in trouble and see how you would do in a survival situation. I'm about to get to my fun end of the trail app that I absolutely love, but a couple fun things 
things to have while you're on the trail. One is Wild Edibles Forager app where you can actually see what food out there on the trail is edible. Night Sky where you can turn your phone up there and look at all the constellations. Or Peak Visor where you can turn your phone to the actual peak and it'll give you the name of the peak as well as the elevation. Now for my favorite app at the end of the day. This is called Relive and I love this app because it tracks your trail via GPS coordinates. It will give it a beautiful yellow line of everywhere you've been with places that you have stopped along the way. It will also add, you can add music to it and you can add your own photos or it will auto populate photos from your photo album. And then what you can do is you can post it on Instagram or Facebook, and then you have a video of your entire day with your friends, everybody that you've been hiking with, and things that you have seen. And it actually becomes sort of like a scrapbook or a memory. I just love Relive. I think it's a great app, and it just helps you remember where you've been, say, five or six years later. So that sums up my favorite hiking apps. Make sure to leave a comment below of any apps that you love using while you're going hiking. Also, if you love hiking, then check out this video just here. I'm Kim the Abundant Traveler and I can't wait to see you on some amazing hike very soon and I'll see you on the next video. Take care y'all.